good morning welcome to yet another glorious day the day that the lord has made let us exceedingly be glad in it is a wonderful day and the day are the works of our mighty god ever present god in time of need the holy one of israel the true god the great ocean divider the yan that i am the god that was the god that is is and the god that will still come the god that is ancient the god that is present the god that is also the future this morning by the grace of god i am here to share a daily exhortation with you my name is joshua osato and i'm here to share this morning exhortation with you let us pray our father we thank you for your great work how you disappoint the enemy during the night this morning we are strong heal and head glory be to god even as we your children hear your word bless our hearts bless our soul make us to know wisdom make us to know your way lead us in the path that will bring about change in our lives let us go closer to you and serve you and give us victory on everything we partake on today on every good work that we involve ourselves in today bless us transform us and make us just like you in jesus perfect name we pray amen this morning by the grace of god we'll be looking at the topic titled transformation not reformation Ephesians 2 verse 10 transformation not reformation Ephesians 2 verse 10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good work which God has before ordained that we should walk in them this new birth is far far more than reformation many persons make new year resolution only to break them because they do not have the capacity to keep them man is ever reforming but reformation at best is only temporary Mass nature must be transformed. A group of Baba at the annual convention desired to exhibit the value of their te- Ternosauria hats. They found a derelict on the skid row, gave him an haircut, a shave, and a bath, and they dressed him in a new clothes. Of their finest tailoring they are demonstrated to their satisfaction the words of tonsoria excellence but three days later the man was in gutter again he has been outwardly transformed into a respectable looking man but the impulses and drive of his inner being had not been changed he had been powdered and perfumed, but not changed. 
through the new birth, the Bible teaches that man enter a new world. There is a new dimension of living. The change that comes over a man is expressed in the various constructs. Lost and holiness, darkness and light, death and resurrection. A stranger to the kingdom of God, now a citizen. The man who has experienced the new birth is called a member of God's household. The Bible teaches that his will is change, his objective for living a change, his disposition is change, his affections are change, and he now has purpose and meaning in his life. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, I give my heart and life to you. Transform me, Father, from a lump of coal into a deadly diamond. Change me from useless to useful, from hopeless to hopeful, from dead in sin to alive in you. Let your light shine within me that will give light to the world in the name of Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless this word in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another exhortation like this. Till then, stay blessed.